Hey guys, Freya Fox here, and in today's video, we're going to discuss Ethereum mining in 2021. Is Ethereum mining in 2021 still profitable? How do you get started in Ethereum mining? And how much I'm making with Ethereum mining? And so much more here on the Foxy's Crypto channel. So let's get started and discuss Ethereum. So before we get started with Ethereum mining, we need to address the elephant in the room, which is Ethereum's EIP 1559. Now, what is Ethereum's plan? What is EIP 1559? Well, what this is, is a new initiative to move Ethereum away from mining and into proof of stake in anticipation for Ethereum 2.0. So if you're completely new to crypto and you're just trying to make a buck, the best way to explain this is it's basically going to make it harder and maybe less profitable to mine Ethereum. Starting in July 2021, Ethereum has confirmed and greenlit 100% that their EIP 5059 plan will go into effect, meaning a up to a 30 to 40% reduction, again, 30 to 40% reduction in overall profitability when it comes down to Ethereum mining. So what does that mean? Well, it could mean a lot of bad news for miners who have just recently purchased GPUs or maybe they overpaid for their GPU and they may not be able to be profitable or break even by time July happens, which is only a few months away as of March 2021. So let me just explain what it is in the more technical terms, okay? So basically EIP 5059 is going to reduce the gas fees for each transaction and what are gas fees if you're new to this a gas fee is basically like a transaction fee it's like when you're on paypal or you're on venmo or whatever app or even just as a merchant if you guys have a business you know that there's a transaction fee for everything right five cents ten percent whatever it is these fees also apply to people who are using ethereum and other cryptocurrencies but ethereum right now currently has the most insane and the most high uh, sorry, highest uh, fees in all of the market. So because of that, Ethereum said, look, we can't have this anymore. We can't have people paying 50 to 500 to whatever ridiculous amounts of money it costs to transact with the Ethereum network. And all those fees are going to us miners. So the way that miners get paid is through the fees, right? So every time we find a block or confirm a transaction or whatever it is that happens on the network, the pool, assuming you're in a pool, gives you a reward. And that reward is a portion of those gas fees. And every time the pool finds a block, it's to Ethereum. And that Ethereum number gets, you know, gets distributed amongst everybody. So now that you know what that is and how that we're able to get paid and everything like that, EIP 1559 solution is to pay less to the miners and keep a more predictable model for each transaction so that the consumer knows exactly how much they may be paying per transaction. And it's not going to be this crazy algorithmic number that could be, you know, $50 sometimes, $500, you know, whatever it is. It's not going to be that high. And so that means overall profitability has to go down. Now, the plus side to that is that they're also going to be burning Ethereum. They're going to be burning some of the Ether fees that are being paid out, which may or may not create a deflationary currency, which means that the price of Ethereum could also skyrocket by 40 to 50 to 60 percent. But we don't really know. Mathematically, it's too hard to tell. And there's not a way to predict it right now because we still have to think about the people who are trading it, buying it, transacting with it not just the miners who are probably the most concerned with the gas fees when gas fees go up we celebrate but now that gas fees are going to go down then we're kind of left not knowing what's going to happen now if you guys don't know ethereum is not a deflationary currency similar to dogecoin ethereum as of today and as of the day that it was created was never created to be a deflationary currency it actually is created uh, all the time now there is a 
theoretical market cap and a theoretical coin cap every year. But that's not to say that it's truly a deflationary currency like Bitcoin is, which has a set amount of 21 million coins. Uh, Ethereum, you can just mine Ethereum and create them and they're rewarded and so on and so forth. So we're hoping that with the burning aspect, with this new fork of with EIP-1559, it's going to create some kind of deflationary mechanism or economics built into the coin. But we don't really know if economically it's going to make it so that this coin, Ethereum's price at the current date uh, into July goes up 50% or more. Now, that's not to say it couldn't do that tomorrow, but who's to say what's going to be the real floor and the real holding point for Ethereum starting in July when this happens? My opinion is perhaps the price will actually go down uh, initially. Uh, the day that EAP 1559 is confirmed, maybe there'll be a mass sell-off. Maybe it will be uh, a ton of miners uh, looking for a quick payday and to cash out and come out a little bit, uh, you know, less with less than they hoped or to at least try to break even or maybe be profitable but whatever their circumstances are, there's going to be a lot of people who bought GPUs right now that will be kind of stuck in the hole with these GPUs and they might want to cash out before the price may tank. But they also may want to keep uh, keep their Ethereum uh, as the coin and not go to cash and uh, hope that EIP-1559 actually deflates the currency, making the actual price per Ether go up. So it's kind of hard to say. That's my you know, overall analysis of this. And so take that with a grain of salt and do what you will with this information. Be warned that potentially your profits could go down the hole or it could also go to the moon, uh, which is what we all hope, right? And so my strategy and my advice to you guys who are going to get into mining now is maybe don't do it, but if you don't care and if you are predicting that, uh, okay, if I go mine right now, like literally tomorrow or sometime in March, then in 90 days, I'll be profitable enough to at least pay back the card at the very least. And then I can figure out what to do with it from then. I think if that's your goal and if you've got the money to spend, then by all means, do it if you don't mind the potential to not have such a profitable investment. If you're making predictions on your ROI for six months, or nine months, that's a little bit too far ahead in my opinion. And I think that you should be looking at a 90 day to maybe 120 day at the very maximum ROI or break even point, at least the break even. You'll at least have cards that you could potentially sell or you can use them to mine something else. Should that be profitable? So what can be done now? What would I do? Is it, let's answer the question. Is mining still profitable in 2021? Well, as of March, I think yes, it is. It's insanely profitable right now. The price of Ethereum has been skyrocketing, right? Uh, let's take a look over here now at the Ethereum to USDT price. It is $1,800 as of March 9th, 2021, at the day of the recording. So looking at this graph, um, it's obviously pretty solid. Now, did we take a huge nosedive down into less than $1,400? We did. We did. And the all-time high, as you guys remember, two or three weeks ago was $2,000. And now we're sitting at around a comfortable $1,800 to $1,700 for the last few days. That doesn't mean that this couldn't go way down or way up again. So with the current um, prices, um, I'm able to personally make anywhere from $1,100 to $1,200 uh, per month. And let's kind of look at that. So um, going over to this website, CryptoCompare.com, which I'll link in the description below and taking a look at my average hash rate for today, which was 354 but sometimes I've actually gotten up to 400. So the actual theoretical hash rate I'm going to go with is like 402, okay? So let's go with 402. The power consumption is 1,000 watts because I have eight cards running and I pay 10 cents now for my electricity. It used to be 4 cents. Uh, but look, 
there's not too much of a difference between four and ten cents, so it's okay. And the pool fee is one percent using two eats miners uh, or two miners dot com. And so I'm making a thousand eighty five per month after paying my electricity. And a lot of people they don't realize this, okay, guys. Paying your electricity is not your big concern. A lot of people are like, oh my God, it takes up a lot of electricity. Like, how am I going to pay the bill? These numbers that I'm telling you and that other people are telling you is profit. It is the cost after you paid your electricity bill. So as long as you know what the cost of your electricity is, then you're going to be able to make an accurate uh, assumption of what you're going to be able to spend and what you're going to have to pay in electricity bills and then what the profit's going to be afterwards. In this case, it's a thousand dollars a month for me after electricity bills. So really mining covers my electric bill. And that means I get to use everything else. You know, my refrigerator, obviously my computer, my lights. I mean, everything is covered, right? So think of it as mining is paying for your electricity bill. Plus it's also paying you for now, at least it's, it's very profitable. This is a profit ratio of 1,507% per day, which is pretty insane. And I paid about $6,000, uh, $6,500 or, or so in total for all of my equipment. That's including the hardware, like the components, like the, the CPU, the motherboards. Um, and then I did buy one pre-built with a 3080 in it because that was the only way I could get the 3080. And then I bought um, 3080s. I have two 3080s, uh, three 5700 XTs and uh, two 1060s running. Um, all at once. And so total cost estimated was about $3,6500 for that. So my break even is going to be, I think in a few more months. So hopefully by July, we're going to break even because I started mining in January of uh, 2021. So hopefully that'll be okay by then. And we can only pray that the price goes up so that each ether that we mined already or each half of it, in my case, I've already mined almost half an Ethereum uh, paid directly to my wallet actually goes up. And that'll make up for a lot of these potential lost profits like I was talking about and pay off my rig faster uh, than I expected. So that's what I am banking on. There is the risk that I do not even break even or I don't reach a single dollar profitability and that's okay because we'll just switch to another coin or I'll just sell my stuff. You know, they're still valuable GPUs. Um, they're still, it's still a valuable computer, right? So that's okay. Now, what would I do if I wanted to get into mine today? Well, the first thing I would say is think about what you could do for your GPUs and what you could pay. And when I mean what you could do, I guess I meant what you could pay. So how much will you pay for a GPU? If you're going to go on eBay right now, I guarantee you, you're going to get screwed by the prices. So let's take a look at eBay and let's look at the 3080s, right? And the price is going to be something like 2000 plus dollars. Kind of crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. Okay. When I bought my 3080s, I paid almost retail, which about $1,100 a car, $1,200 a car. So it wasn't bad, okay? But now at $2,000 a card, you're looking at at least, I don't know, six months or more to become profitable with the 3080. And that's really scary with the penny EIP 1559, cutting our profits down. So would I buy a 3080 in today's market? No, not unless if you can get it for a good price or you already have them or you already have one at least. Look for a different card. Look for something like the 5700 XT. The 6700 XT is going to come out uh, from uh, AMD. That might be a good card if you guys can get your hands on it. Um, looks like the 5700 XTs are going for around $409. I don't know if this is for real, if they actually have this in stock. Um, no, they don't. Of course they don't. If you can get the 5700 XT around $600, then yes, do it. If you have to pay $900, then no, this card only gets you about uh, 60 um, hash. Right now I'm getting about 52 to 55. If I overclock it, you're not going to be able to pay off this card very quickly if you are getting it at $907. The cost per performance ratio is just not there. So looking at mine, again, I have eight cards running and it's making me about this much money 
per month. So it is able to cover my rent, um, my portion of rent. Uh, here in Vegas is very cheap to rent and live. So um, I'm happy with that, that I don't have to worry about paying my bills, um, my most expensive bill, which is my rent. So it's good. It's nice. It's passive. And I don't worry until July, at least. Right. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's my analysis of mining in 2021. Is it still profitable? Yes. As long as the price stays between 1500 or more, then yes, it's still going to be profitable. And if you have free electricity, then I guess it's very profitable. It doesn't matter to you. And if you already have the money just sitting around and you want to turn it into passive income, then sure, why not try it? If you're good at computers and you like this kind of techie stuff, it's definitely for you then. And you're going to be able to get started just fine. If I had to pick a pool to use, I would use something like twominers.com. That's my current favorite pool. It updates really fast. I've barely have any uh, immature blocks that fail or anything like that and uh, with my current rig and I've just not really had a problem with this pool at all um, and the best part about it is I tell this to everyone who's new is if you click on their how to start guy which is right there in the right hand corner they literally have a step-by-step -step guide and a YouTube video that takes you five minutes to set it up you literally copy your address from your Binance or Coinbase or wherever it is you put it into this text file and you run Gminer or download their version of a quick start GPU miner, which is T-Rex miner mixed with LOL miner, I think for EMD, for, sorry, for AMD. Um, I use personally, I use Gminer um, um, and then I use T-Rex as well uh, on one of the other rigs. So these guides right here on twominers.com, the number twominers.com, will show you exactly how to get started. I shouldn't have to explain this part because it kind of explains it better than I can. So as long as you've got some GPUs, 2060s, 3060s, 3070, or a bunch of other older GPUs put together, you could, uh, you know, do this. And as long as they're able to be eight gigabytes or more, as they'll tell you, then go to this website, download the miner and start mining today before the prices go, or sorry, the rewards get very, very little. So that's it guys for today's video. I don't wanna go on any more than I have to. Hopefully this helps you and gives you an idea of what you should do for mining, what you should do for buying GPUs and all that stuff. If you need any more advice or have any more questions, please do not hesitate to go to my Discord. We have over 1100 active members in there daily and a lot of miners who are very experienced to help you set up, or you can also book a consultation with me and I'll go in and help you with remote desktop to set up your mining and set up your operation for you. Um, so book that in the description box below if you need help with that, or you can ask in Discord uh, free of charge. All you do gotta do is join. And that's it guys. So let me know what you guys think about today's video. Are you gonna start mining today? Are you gonna not mine and just invest let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next video.